What's going on guys? It's currently 10 p.m. the night before an epic fishing trip. So tomorrow morning, I'm getting up and going to Lake Lanier with a buddy of mine. The guy I'm fishing with actually knows how to fish. Like I can catch fish, but this guy like has a bass boat. He's fished tournaments. So hopefully we're gonna absolutely smoke him. I'm filming this intro because I gotta get up at like 4, 45 or five in the morning and I know I'm gonna be dead. But yeah, the goal tomorrow is to catch big bass. Hopefully I can learn a few things from him. But other than that, I will see y'all in the morning. As one bites. <laughs> Go to. No, that's oh. That's <laughs> yes, sir. So it always goes. Oh, he wanted that. You ever had any problems with it, or it's pretty good? But it probably doesn't have anything to do with it. On the fall, dude. Nah. There you go. Eh, I'll take it. Yeah, it grew on me a little bit. Yeah. That feels good. I was honestly a little bit surprised. Wasn't expecting him to hit it on the fall like that. Yeah, I don't know how to hold a fish. Right before he bit it. He should bite his. I don't think he was that close. Maybe he'll come back for that. There he is. Dang, look at that color. Man. Man. Things like golden. Oh, he's been he's been caught before. That last spot. There's my hook mark. God, there's another one. You think he's over a pound? Right at a pound. I mean, if we had that into the bag, I'd say a pound. That fish just started running with it. Mm -hmm. No thump, no tap. Okay. It was just like pressure. I wish I had some rattling nads. Oh, dude. I think they're pretty good. I don't know if it actually makes a difference, but I got one. No, a little one. Yeah. I guess I don't need a rattling nad. He soaked it, too. Oh, no. The way he ate this. Do not need it. You said a drop shot? Oh, he's on there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, God, he's a lot better than I thought. You want the net or you got him? Yeah, get the net. Right. Yeah, I thought he was a little. <laughs> yes, I, I was good. About to see. Maybe he'll keep growing. Nah, he's like a two something. Here you go. He's digging. There you go. 
bad. Right off of it. That's so sick. Good one. This rod is like made for drop <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Some of the biggest spots I've ever caught. Yeah, I got one. He ain't, he ain't huge. That's a healthy one though. I mean, he ain't big, but. All right, boys, that there was my first experience on a bass boat. It was, it was pretty fun. I mean, I've never fished on a bass boat before. It was cool just being out there and getting to ride around in the boat. But yeah, fishing was decent. Caught a few, caught some decent spotted bass, but nothing crazy. Probably the most interesting thing to me was watching him catch those fish off the bridge spilings. I've never seen someone do it like that before where he's just dropping his bait down and twitching his rod like that, but it was super cool to watch. So yeah, that was a fun trip, but a few days later, I actually ended up going back to Lake Lanier. I went on my kayak, just fishing by myself at a place that I'd never been to before. It was like a new section of the lake that I haven't fished. Lake Lanier is huge. It was literally so much water to fish. But yeah, here was my day at this section of the lake. Dude. Oh, I got him. He's fighting so weird. It's got to be a catfish. And my drag slipped too. Uh, oh, it's a good spot. It's a good spot. <laughs> Come here. Yes, sir, baby. I just caught a uh, spot busted on bait. <laughs> Out here in the middle on the spinner bait, baby. A solid pound and a half. That's how we start the day. So I was paddling from the boat ramp, which is over there. I was paddling across the lake to get to this bank over here. And on the way, I've seen um, I've seen fish come up and stir like several times. I'll see them come up busting on bait, and then they've always been too far away from me where I couldn't get a cast. But right then, I literally landed on top of some. I was paddling, and they started busting right beside me. So that was my second cast at him right then, and that one came up and smoked the spinner bait. My drag slipped. It was a terrible fight, but I managed to get him in. Feels decent. Man, I'm actually wearing them out today. I've been here for 10 minutes and I've caught two. It's a fat little largey right there, flipping um, all this brush. It's real shallow right here, but there's so much brush. Look at that butterball, he's fat. Fish number two. Really wasn't even trying to film a video today, but if they keep biting like this and we have one heck of a day, you're gonna see a full video out of this.
got him. He came back under the dock. Choked it. Absolutely choked it. Oh my goodness, that thing is gone. Yeah, he wanted that. It's number three of the day. Smallest one. Hey, it's another fish. I wasn't really sure how good the dock bite was gonna be today. I've never I've never really fished a ton of docks at Lake Lanier. But this area that I'm at today, there is a ton of docks. So if they're gonna be biting under them, I'll sit here and fish them all day. Bro, there's a bald eagle. Yo, is that a fish? Yo, that is sick. A bald eagle just went over and I caught a fish. That was so American. That was epic. He's going over there now. I don't know if the camera caught it or not, but there was a bald eagle. There's a little spotted bass. Well, seems like every fish is getting smaller, but I thought that was going to be a big one the way he did it. Maybe we can get one more good one before we get the kayak out. Chased it all the way up to the boat. That's a good spot. Stay hooked. Oh, no way. And he got barely hooked there. That's a solid two pounder. It's a healthy fish. Right here by the boat ramp. You can't beat that, baby. I knew I was getting bit and he was kind of tapping it real hard and then he stopped biting it. So I was reeling my bait in and I was getting ready to grab my spinning rod and throw the Ned rig back in there. But like, as I kind of was looking away and I was about to pull it out of the water, he apparently came up and attacked it right by the boat. That footage is gonna be so sick. I can't wait to watch it back, but maybe we can get one more. All right, boys, had a pretty good day. I actually ended up catching more fish in my kayak than the boat, which was pretty cool. I felt good about that. I had some good catches. The one at the end was super crazy, and also the spinnerbait fish at the beginning was pretty fun also. But yeah, guys, if you like this lake fishing content, let me know by dropping a like, comment, and subscribe down below. But other than that, I'll just see y'all in the next video.